It's quite difficult to explain Ritmos in a single sentence, but it's a first and foremost puzzle game with loads of tiny little puzzles for you to solve that generate music in a musical toy world. And the two sides combine together to create something that is genuinely unique and intriguing and fascinating to play, but also really rewarding on the ears as much as it is on the eyes and brain. Each level in Ritmos is a world that is broken up into six different sides, like a dice. And the idea behind this is that each side of the planet is its own little mini level to be solved. And as you do so, it generates a new layer of music in the world that you're creating. Now, each world has its own unique genre, and they're really eclectic, which was also one of the reasons why it drew me into Ritmos to begin with. So you've got like... Uh, Ethiopian jazz, German electronica, Indonesian gamelan music, Japanese environmental music. There's like vibraphones pinging around here, old retro synthesizers, all kinds of weird and wonderful stuff. And the idea is that it's teaching you a little bit about where music came from as you solve the puzzles. Now, the puzzles themselves are reminiscent of slider puzzles, which are a personal hatred of mine, but they don't feel like slider puzzles. What you're doing is creating or drawing circuits as you go around each of the faces of the planet. And you do this by sliding in one direction and you'll keep going until you hit a brick wall or the end of a surface, for example. And then you can move in the next direction as you go. And that's why I say it's akin to a slider puzzle. But Ritmos goes beyond that because each collection of levels then adds in other mechanics. The idea is that you can go for a silver level pass, which means, can you see there's like little circular nobules in each of the levels? As long as you collect one of those on your loop around, you're fine. And as long as you make your way back to the beginning again, you pass the level, great. However, if you collect all of the nobules in one loop, then that gets you a gold clear. And what that means is that you get a fully integrated layer of music in the genre of music that you're creating added to your sound as you go along. And then you kind of rotate the world around, pick your next side and keep going. Each level has six sides or six layers of music and you feel it kind of building momentum as you build the world around you as it kind of all clumps together like stickle bricks. I really, really like this reward system and dopamine hit that it gives you. Every time you solve a little mini level, you get an extra rush of music and more rhythmic pace to something or more melodic punch. It really works. And then what happens at the end, once you've cleared all six sides, is it then gives you a kind of little mini play additional instrument that you can unlock and muck about with. So that could be playing some drums, it could be playing some xylophone or some vibraphone. Some of them are like musical effects and synthesizers, like low pass filters or delays and stutters, that kind of stuff. It depends on the genre of music that you're playing and the level that you complete. But what it then does is it lets you kind of jam around and record your own little thing. It's not going to create like massively like chart topping music for you. It's just a little doodly musical toy. And once you finish recording your own little beat or your own little mini melody, it gets stored away in a little vinyl in the box and you move on to the next level. It's such a cute and fun way of going puzzling as well as starting to integrate you into this is how music can be made in different ways. You don't have to worry about scales or notes or anything like that. It's all done for you, but it gives you that little pinky toe in the water to start thinking about, oh, OK, this is the history of different types of music. And this is how you can start getting creative and jamming away a little bit. And I think anything that gives you a new way to learn and play and, and get your hands involved in some music I think is only a good thing and Ritmos certainly does that. From a puzzle perspective this won't change your life but I really do like the way how each world adds on new mechanics to this slider uh, style like loop creator as you go through the game. So it starts off adding in say uh, like ice blocks that you can manoeuvre around and create false walls, for example. Then you've got uh, worlds where you can like push uh, bits of the road back and forth to create or close new paths. 
then it starts to combine those two things together alongside portals which allow you to kind of fall into one world and then pop out on another side or something like that it all creates and like builds layers and layers upon itself so that as you get to the end game of Ritmos all of these different mechanics are all running together keeping you on your toes so to speak but in a very like micro puzzle sense because these pu worlds are never too like complex or big to let you get lost in solution mode because there's only ever like five or six different ways how you can try something and then you'll have pretty much tried every move set that you can go for because you can only ever go up down left or right a couple of times and then you're like okay by process of elimination I can jam my way around and get there eventually. I had a great time playing Ritmos I think this will be one of those weird and wonderful eclectic puzzle game that many people might skim over and not necessarily think oh is this for me is this not for me i recommend this game i think it's a real unique spin into puzzle and musical toy creation and combination um there are a few bugs that i have to just kind of end the review on i ran into a few times where the game just got stuck and i had to control alt delete out and get my way out of the game again um, there is also just a general lack of an exit screen that works for me, which I think needs to be solved in a future release as well. But on the whole, my time with Ritmos has been absolutely fantastic, and I recommend it to all puzzle fans, particularly if you like your eclectic side of gaming. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplane network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.